Someday, robots are going to take over the world. It's a fact. And do you know why? Because of good old artificial intelligence. Hello everyone and welcome to Video Games and Evolving Species, the only show on the web where you can learn about doing nothing. And in this episode, this is exactly what we're learning about. We are going to learn about AI and the history of AI and the evolution of AI throughout gaming. So let's start off with the Google definition of AI. I just love the defining feature of Google. The theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. The one we're really going to be focused on today is the decision making part. Let's get into the history of AI. What was the first AI in video games? Well, AI has actually been around for a very long time, since the 1940s, with very basic AI able to perform games of chess and such. But uh, in terms of modern video games, the first AI was in the game Colossal Cave Adventure, or sometimes just called Adventure, where at random points in the game, a dwarf would show up and either kill you or not. Now, the reason this is an AI is because there's a random number generator within the dwarf determining whether it will show up, whether it will throw an axe, and whether or not that axe will kill you. Now, this requires no human interaction. It does this completely on its own. Nothing you do in the game will make it not show up, and nothing you do in the game will make it show up. It shows up on its own and kills you on its own accord, which, if we go back to our definition, the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as making a decision. So, now that we've seen what the first AI in video games was, why don't we start to look at how the AI evolved? And we can see a good example of that in uh, 1978 with Space Invaders. Space Invaders had some very advanced AI for the time with an increasing difficulty level and random events that could happen throughout the game. Uh, another popular game, Pac-Man in 1980, uh, saw AI that could navigate through a maze and find Pac-Man. Now, each of the little ghosts, if you don't know this, actually was programmed to behave in a certain way depending on where Pac-Man was going, uh, all still trying to complete the goal of, you know, successfully defeating Pac-Man. But this was a huge improvement in pathfinding AI with uh, artificial intelligence. It's kind of redundant. Uh, in 1984, the racing game Pole Position was released in Namco and allowed the player to race against AI opponents. This was actually very big, because uh, most racing games for the time needed multiple people to race, and there weren't many NPCs or AI that would race against you. Surprisingly, some of the major contenders to the AI crowd were none other than sports games. Who would have thunk it? Games such as Madden Football and Earl Weaver Baseball showed a great improvement in AI that could, well, play a basic game of football or baseball with you. In the 90s, AI got a little... crazy. In the 1990s, some of the first turn-based RPGs started to arise. These games used complex algorithms to determine the enemy's actions against the player and their party. Games like Final Fantasy and Pokemon were actually very advanced in the world of video game AI. The enemies would determine, based on what you were doing and based on their own danger, what moves to use, what defensive moves and offensive moves to use, all with the ultimate goal of defeating the opponent and keeping themselves alive. Nowadays, since about the 2000s, AI has gotten very complex. We see in games like Skyrim, enemies making decisions whether or not to attack you based on where you are, what you have done. I mean, a lot of it is player interaction, but it's still the AI deciding what to do, making a human decisions. Even games now uh, emulate human decisions with bots in games like Counter-Strike or Team Fortress 2 when actual players aren't available. The upcoming Call of Duty Ghost will even see AI fish that will respond to what you're doing, because that totally hasn't already been done before. <laughs> so to wrap things up, the world of AI in games is always changing, like everything in the gaming world. To leave you with the definition of AI once more, the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally 
require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech, recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. Thank you all for watching, and join me next week as I tackle the history and evolution of the player. See you next week.